Okay, with the bloomers, again, I use Kimi as my guide, and Kimi is really um, simple to use. And just look at Kimi's um, bloomers there. What you do is you need a piece of fabric. Let's get my, um, I just measured Kimi's pants. You need a piece of fabric that is, uh, let's say, in length. Let's just make it 30 centimeters, okay? The same, the same size as a piece of, uh, as a ruler. Mine's just slightly shorter. Uh, mine is exactly 29 centimeters, but you can make it 30 centimeters. It doesn't really matter. Um, and the, and the width is 15 centimeters, okay? So that's pretty good. So what you need to do now is fold it in half. And this is a tea dyed uh, cotton fabric also from my stash. What you need to do is cut it in, uh, fold it in half like that. And then from there, you need to make um, a slit down the center. So to, uh, to find the center, so once you fold it in half, you get a back and a front, okay? You have a back, yep, a back and a front. And to find the center, you, what you need to do is fold that in half again, like this. And what you need to do is make a slit. I'll measure with you guys. I'll show you guys how far up you need to go, okay? So you need to cut in the center, roughly about there, okay? That looks pretty good. Um, let's measure here. I would say it is roughly on Kimmy here. On Kimmy here, it is roughly about 80 centimeters. Uh, yep, 80 centimeters up, or 8 centimeters. 8 centimeters. 8 centimeters. Um, you do your slit. 8 centimeters and then from there what you need to do next is find if you want to um, embellish the bottom with any sort of lace you need to open up your piece of fabric again so you will have something that looks like this okay there's a center and there's an opening and an opening what you need to do now because these openings here form one leg of the the pants okay like this is one side of the leg and this is the other side of the of the legs so once you put it on the dolly that's what it's going to look like like that okay so we want to embellish the bottom down here so what you do is you open it back up again at the moment there's no good side or bad side because the fabric is exactly the same so find a nice lace that you want to use down the bottom here let me just grab mine okay i've just decided that i'm going to use this same trim again down the bottom here this is the same trim that i've used for the collar so what you need to do now you see how we've got the two openings is do a stitching um just um maybe a little bit less than a centimeter down the edge all the way down here okay that's your next step so just do a stitching all the way down and i'll be right back okay so i've done a um a straight stitch across the bottom here already so that is the wrong side now because i've done the stitching there so what you do now because that is the wrong side you want to turn it to the good side depending on the lace that you are using my lace now has already got a nice decorative edge on the outside so i'm going to sew it on top of the fabric like this okay if you have a raw edge on yours what you need to do is flip your fabric this way so good against good, good side against the good side, bad side on the outside. If you have a raw edge on yours, that's what you, that's how you would stitch it. All the way, do a running stitch on your sewing machine or on your hand, um, hand stitch all the way across here, and then you can flip that back down again. But because mine already has a nice decorative finish like that with no raw edge, I'm just simply gonna sew it straight on top like that, okay? And that will form one leg. That's what you need to do. So to make it easy again, you see it's got two legs. What I'm going to do now is grab my piece of lace because it's already nicely finished like I have mentioned. Place that on top of this side and we're going to stitch it all the way across to the other side. And that will form one leg as you guys can see there, okay? And then you will do the same on the other side. You will place this, um, the end of this to the end of the fabric. Sew that along the, the edge. And then you have another side okay be right back okay now you have something that looks like this so once you've stitched this all the way across like I have mentioned more threads so along this side here and along this side here you see you've got your little nice decorative edges for your little bloomers so what you do now is turn it back inside out like that 
and you're gonna finish off the inner leg okay so from here you're gonna line them up straight I will probably recommend um, if you've got them both really straight you can start off down the bottom here but if you're not too sure start off in the center here where the crutch is but uh, mine are pretty well okay so to finish off um, your pair of pants all you need to do is stitch the inside of the leg all the way up and back down again but remember inside here you do a V okay so stitch all the way um, up and then down uh, up and then down again pretty much and make sure you do a V in here so that when when you did turn it back out the other way it's gonna look a bit um, like all gathered and scrunched in but it doesn't really matter so push the legs out like that with the chopsticks again out And there you have your bloomers. There we go. That's going to look a bit like squished up and stuff like that, but in the center. But that's just how Var makes her pants, and and they um they are okay. So let's put because <laughs> I'm like I keep men saying I'm not a fancy sewer. If you reckon there's another way that you can do it that's easier, go ahead because this is the only way Van knows how to make pants and I'm always saying I use Kimmy as my guide and that's the, um, how they made her pants. So let's put it on, on, put it on Dolly. And now she's all fully dressed and not naked. So you see here it's still nice and big and not closed yet. What you need to do is find a really nice, um, they only use cotton for Kimmy, really really thin. But for Rosie and for the other dollies, I've used that really nice seam binding and stuff like that. Um, I like to leave my edges raw like this for you know a tattered look. But if you want a nicer finish, you can turn it inside out. But just remember to leave a bigger gap down the bottom here instead of eight centimeters. Okay, instead of doing eight, do probably um, only seven. Then it gives you a bit of room to tuck that in. So. Um, I probably will still recommend you do seven anyways because it does look a bit scrunched up here or maybe I cut too far on this one here so let's grab our big needle um, big needle hole you see you need to find a big needle with a nice big hole like that to feed your seam binding or whatever um, lace that you want to put through here Okay, I'm going to use pink um, hug snug seam binding in a baby pink color. So I'm just going to cut this at an angle so that I can thread it through my needle like that. So you need one of those maybe embroidery ones or a ribbon needle. Feed that through like that. And then what you need to do now is make, make big in and out stitches pretty much. So just because you want to tie at the front so just give about a one centimeter gap equally on both sides and then pull your needle through it might be a bit tight but just keep pulling and you'll pull that ribbon all the way through this cotton is actually quite thick so just be very careful with that and just pull pull it in give it a little jiggle and you'll be able to eventually pull through like that so you got to get the bum in first and then the bum will be filled with this uh, thick um, seam binding also so just be very careful just do it in and out in and out like that and again it will be quite stiff but just pull on your needle wiggle pull on your needle and wiggle um, and then it will eventually pop out that's just how VAR does it you see there it's, it's come out again okay so in and out in and out like that um, all the way around and you'll end up back here again and you can draw string it and tie it a knot that's pretty much it be right back once I finish okay I finish doing my running stitch in and out in and out in and out all the way across here towards the front again and I just wrinkled this side to match up to the other side also with your hands you just wrinkle it like that to make it look tattered and wrinkly uh, just make sure that they're the same level so that when you tie your bow it looks nice and even and she's not naked anymore so you just 
do a knot and tie your normal regular bow. And voila! She's got pants on also. If you want to make this nice and gathered like I have with the other ones, you can just use some um, gold threading like I have here. And do again in and out, in and out through the pants here. And this would be much easier because it's fine gold threading. So that's what you would need to do um, to add character to her pants also to give it a really nice crinkle look. And I will probably do it also because I like this nice cr um, crinkle look also. So I'm just going to go and find some um, gold threading uh, in my stash. And I'm just going to finish it off and be right back to share with you guys. I couldn't find the <laughs> really little ones like I've used on uh, Kimmy's here, but I found one that's slightly larger and it's easy to feed through also. So again, just put through your big um, embroidery needle or your big bum needle as I call it. Um, do a running stitch in and out, in and out. And this one's a lot easier to pull than the seam binding. You can even use this for the, the waist also uh, up here. It will still look really, really lovely. So a couple more and then we've done... That leg, that centre, one more, like that, and then you just pull it back because it's too much, because I made my stitches really, really long, oh, I mean my, my thread here, so pull it back slightly, just enough so that you can tie a nice bow on it, and pull it back again. Like that, probably a little bit more because it's still quite long. You just want a nice, neat little bow. You don't want anything too long. So, take your needle out, cut it off, and here you can gather your pants up as high or as low as you like. Tie it again, and then tie your little bow bow. Right there, isn't that cute? It adds colour and dimension to her pants and if you don't like that long like that, you can trim it off and have it as sh short as you like. But in case the knot goes out, you will want a little bit longer so it's easier to tie. So I'm going to go ahead now and finish off the other side and be right back. Okay, so now we have completed the bloomers also and don't they look so super gorgeous and there's a little tunic on top there um that's a shorter dress um then this little dolly here's dress and uh, so super cute so i'm yet to make bloomers for that dolly also because she's still naked underneath but ta-da this one's here's all nicely dressed and if you want to make shoes you can do like little booties and stuff like that for her and you can even tie um some lace on you know on her hand as a little um what you call it as a little bracelet accent type thing it's just my naughty kids in the background there sorry guys you can just tie like a little bow here just to accent the arm just to blend in with everything like that isn't that cute she's so tattered and so pretty and you can you know embellish her even more i might just add more um laces and stuff like that but that's just a bit of um a basic start for you guys who want to know how to make a rag doll and isn't she just gorgeous and she's my latest one and look at her she comes out such a treat and she's just absolutely beautiful so i hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and i hope i was helpful also i do apologize if sometimes i confuse you and stuff like that like i mentioned i'm no expert i do not like to do tutorials because they take forever i've actually gone to the um uh laptop and upload twice now because i've ran out of memory twice and you see things like that running back and forth I, i'm only using a normal canon camera i don't have a lot of memory and stuff like that on my camera at all so i'm always back and forth back and forth and being busy on the farm also i don't have time like this tutorial took me all day pretty much and my husband has been really nice to me today uh, just for the purpose of this tutorial because i've been meaning to do this for a long time and i have explained it to him and he was totally understandable even though he wanted me to go to the farm with him this afternoon and I said to him that, you know, I would like to finish this off. So he was a little bit upset there because, you know, I spent all day on this tutorial to tell you guys the truth. So I didn't start early. I started around about uh, half past 11 and now it's pretty much close to 5 o'clock and... Um, 
uh, in the in the months doing other things also, like cooking lunch and stuff like that, it was not all in five hours. And I managed to do two dollars. So you know how um, easy and quick that was. So um, I've got to yet to finish this one off also with hair and face and stuff like that. But look at this completed one. Isn't she just an angel? And that's what I'm going to call her now. Her name is Angel. So she is just so absolutely beautiful. And I've just come up with that na name just like... Just now when I call her Angel and she's so, so beautiful. I'm so in love with her. And look at her. She's so unique. Every doll that you make comes out different. Um, not two dolls are exactly the same. They might look similar, but they're not exactly the same. You see there's Rosie. That's her face. And then there's Dolly number five. That's her face. And then we have my latest little angel. Isn't she beautiful? Look at her hair. She is absolutely scrunchies and so fluffy. So I hope this will inspire you guys to make um, some awesome, awesome, awesome dollies also. And stay tuned um, for the vid following this vid because I have a special announcement to share with you guys. But it will probably take some time. So keep watching because you wouldn't want to miss this announcement. And please do make some dolls because with the announcement you wouldn't want to miss it. So I hope this uh, little hint hint makes... Um, you guys want to craft even more and I um, hope that I have inspired you to make this beautiful dolly as gorgeous as this for your loved one or for, um, you know, as a gift for anybody that you love once again. So thank you for stopping by and I hope you have enjoyed this wonderful too. Bye-bye.